Coptic, or Coptic Egyptian Boharic, ti.met.rem.n.khme and Sahidic, t, mant, erm, n, keem, is the latest stage of the Egyptian language, a northern Afro-Asiatic language spoken in Egypt until at least the 17th century as official language. Egyptian began to be written in the Coptic alphabet, an adaptation of the Greek alphabet with the addition of six or seven signs from Demotic to represent Egyptian sounds the Greek language did not have. In the 1st century AD, several distinct Coptic dialects are identified, the most prominent of which are Sahidic, originating in parts of Upper Egypt, and Boharic, originally from the western Nile Delta in Lower Egypt. Coptic and Demotic are grammatically closely related to Late Egyptian, which was written with Egyptian hieroglyphs. Coptic flourished as a literary language from the 2nd to 13th centuries, and its Boharic dialect continues to be the liturgical language of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. It was supplanted by Egyptian Arabic as a spoken language toward the early modern period, but language revitalization efforts have been underway since the 19th century. Name The native Coptic name for the language is Timet Rem and Kimi in the Boharic Delta dialect, Timet Rem and Kimi in the Sahidic Valley dialect. The particle prefix mi n t from the verb muti to speak forms many abstract nouns in Coptic, not only those pertaining to language. The term Remenkemi, Remenkim meaning Egyptian, literally person of Egypt, is a compound of Rem, which is the construct state of the Coptic noun man, human being, plus the genitive preposition e -n of plus the word for Egypt, kemi, kim, cf. kemet. Thus, the whole expression literally means language of the people of Egypt, or simply Egyptian language. Another name by which the language has been called is timentkapteon, from the Copto-Greek form timentegupshin, Egyptian language. The term logos and iguptios Egyptian language is also attested in Sahidic, but logos and iguptios are both Greek in origin. In the liturgy of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria, the name is more officially T Aspi N Rem N Kemi, the Egyptian language, Aspi being the Egyptian word for language. Topic: <laughs> Geographic distribution. Coptic is today spoken liturgically in the Coptic Orthodox and Coptic Catholic Church, along with modern Standard Arabic. The language is spoken only in Egypt and historically has had little influence outside of the territory, except for monasteries located in Nubia. Coptic's most noticeable linguistic impact has been on the various dialects of Egyptian Arabic, which is characterized by a Coptic substratum in lexical, morphological, syntactical, and phonological features. Topic. Influence on other languages In addition to influencing the grammar, vocabulary and syntax of Egyptian Arabic, Coptic has lent to both Arabic and modern Hebrew such words as Timsa, Arabic, Tiemsa Hebrew, crocodile, Emsa, this subsequently entered Turkish as Timsa. It should be noted, however, that Coptic, as grammatically masculine and hence would have been vocalized Pemsa or Bemsa Sahidic, Boharic. Hence it is unclear why the word should have entered Arabic with an initial T, which would have required the word to be grammatically feminine i.e. Sahidic, asterisk, Boharic, asterisk, tuba tuped, brick, Sahidic, to, be, Boharic, to, by. This subsequently entered Catalan and Spanish via Andalusian Arabic as tova and adobe respectively, the latter of which was borrowed by American English. Wahawat, oasis. Sahidic, Wahe, Boharic, Wahi, this subsequently entered Turkish as Vahaa. Few words of Coptic origin are found in the Greek language. Some of the words were later lent to various European languages such as barge, from Coptic, bari, small boat. However, most words of Egyptian origin that entered into Greek and subsequently into other European languages came directly from ancient Egyptian, often Demotic. An example is the Greek oasis oasis, which comes directly from Egyptian wt or demotic wage. However, Coptic reborrowed some words of ancient Egyptian origin into its lexicon, via Greek. For example, both Sahidic and Boharic use the word abenos, which was taken directly from Greek abenos, ebony. Originally from Egyptian HB and J, many major cities' names in modern Egypt are Arabic adaptations of their former Coptic names. Tanta, Tantatho, Asayat, S-I-O-W-T 
Fiam, Piam, Dumya, Tamiati, Aswan, Suan, Daminhur, Timinhor, the Coptic name, Papnote from Egyptian Pyp Tur, means, belonging to God, or, he of God. It was adapted into Arabic as Babnoda, which remains a common name among Egyptian Copts to this day. It was also borrowed into Greek as the name Pafnusios. Pafnusius. That, in turn, is the source of the Russian name Pafnutich, Pafnuti, like the mathematician Pafnuti Chebyshev. The Old Nubian language and the modern Nubian language borrowed many words of Coptic origin. History The Egyptian language may have the longest documented history of any language, from Old Egyptian that appeared just before 3200 BC to its final phases as Coptic in the Middle Ages. Coptic belongs to the later Egyptian phase, which started to be written in the New Kingdom of Egypt. Later Egyptian represented colloquial speech of the later periods. It had analytic features like definite and indefinite articles and paraphrastic verb conjugation. Coptic, therefore, is a reference to both the most recent stage of Egyptian after Demotic and the new writing system that was adapted from the Greek alphabet. Pre-Islamic period The earliest attempts to write the Egyptian language using the Greek alphabet are Greek transcriptions of Egyptian proper names, most of which date to the Ptolemaic kingdom. Scholars frequently refer to this phase as pre-Coptic. However, it is clear that by the late period of ancient Egypt, Demotic scribes regularly employed a more phonetic orthography, a testament to the increasing cultural contact between Egyptians and Greeks even before Alexander the Great's conquest of Egypt. Coptic itself, or Old Coptic, takes root in the first century. The transition from the older Egyptian scripts to the newly adapted Coptic alphabet was in part due to the decline of the traditional role played by the priestly class of ancient Egyptian religion, who unlike most ordinary Egyptians, were literate in the temple scriptoria. Old Coptic is represented mostly by non-Christian texts such as Egyptian pagan prayers and magical and astrological papyri. Many of them served as glosses to original hieratic and demotic equivalents. The glosses may have been aimed at non-Egyptian speakers. Under late Roman rule, Diocletian persecuted many Egyptian converts to the new Christian faith, which forced new converts to flee to the Egyptian deserts. In time, the growth of these communities generated the need to write Christian Greek instructions in the Egyptian language. The early fathers of the Egyptian church, such as Anthony the Great, Pahomius the Great, Macarius of Egypt and Athanasius of Alexandria, who otherwise usually wrote in Greek, addressed some of their works to the Egyptian monks in Egyptian. The Egyptian language, now written in the Coptic alphabet, flourished in the 2nd and 3rd centuries. However, it was not until Shenut that Coptic became a fully standardized literary language based on the Sahidic dialect. Shinoda's native Egyptian tongue and knowledge of Greek and rhetoric gave him the necessary tools to elevate Coptic, in content and style, to a literary height nearly equal to the position of the Egyptian language in ancient Egypt. Islamic period The Muslim conquest of Egypt by Arabs came with the spread of Islam in the 7th century. At the turn of the 8th century, Caliph Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan decreed that Arabic replace Koine Greek and Coptic as the sole administrative language. Literary Coptic gradually declined, and within a few hundred years, Egyptian bishop Severus ibn al-Mukafa found it necessary to write his history of the patriarchs in Arabic. However, ecclesiastically the language retained an important position, and many hagiographic texts were also composed during this period. Until the 10th century, Coptic remained the spoken language of the native population outside the capital. Persecutions under the Mamluk Sultanate 1250 led to the further decline of Coptic until it completely gave way to Egyptian Arabic around the 17th century, though it may have survived in isolated pockets for a little longer. In the second half of the 19th century, Pope Cyril IV of Alexandria started a national church-sponsored movement to revive Coptic. Several works of grammar were published, with all a more comprehensive dictionary than had been formerly available. The scholarly findings of the field of Egyptology and the inauguration of the Institute of Coptic Studies further contributed to the Renaissance. Efforts at language revitalization continue to be undertaken, both inside and outside the church, and have attracted the interest of Copts and linguists in and outside of Egypt. 
Topic: <laughs> Writing system. Coptic uses a writing system almost wholly derived from the Greek alphabet, with the addition of a number of letters that have their origins in Demotic Egyptian, that makes it comparable to the Latin based Icelandic alphabet, which includes the runic letter thorn. There is some variation in the number and forms of these signs depending on the dialect. Some of the letters in the Coptic alphabet that are of Greek origin were normally reserved for words that are themselves Greek. Old Coptic texts employed several graphemes that were not retained in the literary Coptic orthography of later centuries. In Sahidic, syllable boundary may have been marked by a superlinear stroke, or the stroke may have tied letters together in one word, since Coptic texts did not otherwise indicate word divisions. Some scribal traditions use a diaresis over i, and u, at the beginning of a syllable or to mark a diphthong. Boharic uses a superposed point or small stroke known as a jinkum. Topic. Literature The oldest Coptic writings date to the pre-Christian era Old Coptic, though Coptic literature consists mostly of texts written by prominent saints of the Coptic Church such as Anthony the Great, Pahomius the Great and Shenut. Shenut helped fully standardize the Coptic language through his many sermons, treatises and homilies, which formed the basis of early Coptic literature. Vocabulary The core lexicon of Coptic is Egyptian, most closely related to the preceding Demotic phase of the language. Up to 40% of the vocabulary of literary Coptic is drawn from Greek, but borrowings are not always fully adapted to the Coptic phonological system and may have semantic differences as well. There are instances of Coptic texts having passages that are almost entirely composed from Greek lexical roots. However, that is likely due to the fact that the majority of Coptic religious texts are direct translations of Greek works. What invariably attracts the attention of the reader of a Coptic text, especially if it is written in the Sa'idic dialect, is the very liberal use which is made of Greek loan words, of which so few, indeed, are to be found in the ancient Egyptian language. Their Greek loan words occur everywhere in Coptic literature, be it biblical, liturgical, theological, or non-literary, i.e. legal documents and personal letters. Though nouns and verbs predominate, the Greek loan words may come from any other part of speech except pronouns. Words or concepts for which no adequate Egyptian translation existed were taken directly from Greek to avoid altering the meaning of the religious message. In addition, other Egyptian words that would have adequately translated the Greek equivalents were not employed as they were perceived as having overt pagan associations. Old Coptic texts employ many such words, phrases and epithets, for example, the word, who is, in, his, mountain, is an epithet of Anubis. There are also traces of some archaic grammatical features, such as residues of the demotic relative clause, lack of an indefinite article and possessive use of suffixes. Thus, the transition from the old traditions to the new Christian religion also contributed to the adoption of Greek words into the Coptic religious lexicon. It is safe to assume that the everyday speech of the native population retained, to a greater extent, its indigenous Egyptian character, which is sometimes reflected in Coptic nonreligious documents such as letters and contracts. Topic phonology Coptic provides the clearest indication of later Egyptian phonology from its writing system, which fully indicates vowel sounds and occasionally stress pattern. The phonological system of later Egyptian is also better known than that of the classical phase of the language because of a greater number of sources indicating Egyptian sounds, including cuneiform letters containing transcriptions of Egyptian words and phrases, and Egyptian renderings of Northwest Semitic names. Coptic sounds, in addition, are known from a variety of Coptic Arabic papyri in which Arabic letters were used to transcribe Coptic and vice versa. They date to the medieval Islamic period, when Coptic was still spoken. Topic vowels There are some differences of opinion among Coptic language scholars on the correct phonetic interpretation of the writing system of Coptic. Differences center on how to interpret the pairs of letters epsilon, eta and omicron, omega. In Greek spelling, the first member of each pair is a short closed vowel, e, o, and the second member is a long open vowel. In some interpretations of Coptic phonology, it is assumed that the length difference is primary, with epsilon, eta, e, e and omicron, omega as o, o. Other scholars argue for a different analysis in which epsilon, eta and omicron, omega are interpreted as e, and o. 
These two charts show the two theories of Coptic vowel phonology. Dialects vary in their realization. The difference between o and u seems to be allophonic. Evidence is not sufficient to demonstrate that these are distinct vowels, and if they are, the difference has a very low functional load. For dialects that use orthographic for a single vowel, there appears to be no phonetic difference from. Double orthographic vowels are presumed here to be long, as that makes the morphology more straightforward. Another common interpretation is that these represented glottal stop. Akmimic is conservative, close to what is reconstructed for Old Coptic. There is no length distinction in final stressed position, but only those vowels that occur long appear there. In Sahidic, the letter epsilon was used for short e, before back fricatives, and also for unstressed schwa. It's possible there was also a distinction between short and a, but if so the functional load was extremely low. Again, length is neutralized in final stressed position. Boharic did not have long vowels. I, was only written. As above, it's possible that u, and o, were distinct vowels rather than just allophones. In late Coptic that is, late Boharic, the vowels were reduced to those found in Egyptian Arabic, a, i, u, became, u, became, a, uh, and became either, i, or, a. Uh. It's difficult to explain. However, it generally became, a, uh, in stressed monosyllables, i, uh, in unstressed monosyllables, and in polysyllables, a, uh, when followed by, i, uh, and, i, uh, when not. There were no doubled orthographic vowels in Mesochemic. Some representative correspondences with Sahidic are, it's not clear if these correspondences reflect distinct pronunciations in Mesochemic, or if they're an imitation of the long Greek vowels. Topic consonants As with the vowels, there are differences of opinion over the correct interpretation of the Coptic consonant letters, particular the letters, an, is transcribed as j in many older Coptic sources and, as or. Lambden 1983 notes that the current conventional pronunciations are different from the probable ancient pronunciations. Sahidic was probably pronounced t and was probably pronounced k. Reinges 2004 p 22 suggests that was pronounced. The following chart shows the consonants that are represented in Sahidic Coptic orthography. Consonants that are rare or found primarily in Greek loanwords are shown in parentheses. Beside being found in Greek loanwords, the letters phi, theta, chi were used in native words for a sequence of p, t, k, plus, h, as in topic, the way f.sg, and the snake m.sg. The letters did not have this use in Boharic, which used them for single sounds. It is possible that in addition there was a glottal stop that was not consistently written. Coptic does not seem to have had a glottal stop at the beginning of orthographically vowel initial words. It's possible that vowels written double were an attempt to indicate glottal stop, rather than a long vowel, in the middle of a word. However, there is little evidence for this e.g., Arabic loans with short vowels and glottal stop are not written with double vowels in Coptic, and Coptic words with double orthographic vowels are transcribed with long vowels rather than Hamza in Arabic. In late Coptic ca. 14th century, Boharic sounds that did not occur in Egyptian Arabic were lost. A possible shift from a tenuous aspirate distinction to voice tenuous is only attested from the alveolars, the only place that Arabic has such a contrast. Earlier phases of Egyptian may have contrasted voiceless and voiced bilabial plosives, but the distinction seems to have been lost. Late Egyptian, Demotic and Coptic all interchangeably use their respective graphemes to indicate either sound, for example, Coptic for iron appears alternately as an that probably reflects dialect variation. Both letters were interchanged with an to indicate f, and was also used in many texts to indicate the bilabial approximant with. Coptologists believe that Coptic was articulated as a voiced bilabial fricative beta. In the present day Coptic church services, this letter is realized as v, but it is almost certainly a result of the pronunciation reforms instituted in the 19th century. Whereas Old Egyptian contrasts s and z, the two sounds appear to be in free variation in Coptic, as they were since the Middle Egyptian period. However, they are contrasted only in Greek loans, for example, native Coptic, Anzib, and Ansib school are homophonous. Other consonants that sometimes appear to be either in free variation or to have different distributions across dialects are t and d, r and l especially in the Fayamich dialect, a feature of earlier Egyptian and k and with the voiceless stop consonants being more common in Coptic words and the voiced ones in Greek borrowings. Apart from the liquid consonants, this pattern may indicate a sound change in later Egyptian, leading to a neutralization of voiced alveolar and velar plosives. 
When the voiced plosives are realized, it is usually the result of consonant voicing in proximity to n. Though there is no clear evidence that Coptic had a glottal stop, different orthographic means have been posited for indicating one by those who believe that it did, with word initially, with word finally in monosyllabic words in northern dialects and, in monosyllabic words in Akhmimic and Asiutic, by reduplication of a vowel's grapheme but mostly unwritten. A few early manuscripts have a letter, or, c where Sahidic and Boharic have, s, and Akhmimic has, x. This sound seems to have been lost early on. Topic. Grammar Coptic is agglutinative with subject-verb-object-word order but can be verb-subject-object with the correct preposition in front of the subject. Number, gender, tense, and mood are indicated by prefixes that come from late Egyptian. The earlier phases of Egyptian did this through suffixation. Some vestiges of the suffix inflection survive in Coptic, mainly to indicate inalienable possession and in some verbs. Compare the Middle Egyptian form asterisk satipapha he chooses written stp, f in hieroglyphs to Coptic sahidic f dot sop, he chooses. Topic. Nouns All Coptic nouns carry grammatical gender, either masculine or feminine, usually marked through a prefixed definite article as in the Romance languages. Masculine nouns are marked with the article p, pe, and feminine nouns with the article te in the Sahidic dialect and pi, p, and t in the Boharic dialect. Boharic, pi ro me, the man, t d, the hand. Sahidic, p ro me, the man, c, the hand. The definite and indefinite articles also indicate number, however, only definite articles mark gender. Coptic has a number of broken plurals, a vestige of older Egyptian, but in the majority of cases, the article marks number. Generally, nouns inflected for plurality end in but there are some irregularities. The dual was another feature of earlier Egyptian that survives in Coptic in only few words, such as snow too. Words of Greek origin keep their original grammatical gender, except for neuter nouns, which become masculine in Coptic. Topic. Pronouns Coptic pronouns are of two kinds, dependent and independent. Independent pronouns are used when the pronoun is acting as the subject of a sentence, as the object of a verb, or with a preposition. Dependent pronouns are a series of prefixes and suffixes that can attach to verbs and other nouns. Coptic verbs can therefore be said to inflect for the person, number and gender of the subject and the object, a pronominal prefix marks the subject, and a pronominal suffix marks the object, e.g., I I have it the ball, when, as in this case, the subject is a pronoun, it normally isn't also expressed independently, unless for emphasis. As in other Afroasiatic languages, gender of pronouns differ only in the second and third person singular. The following table shows the pronouns of the Sahidian dialect, Topic. Adjectives Most Coptic adjectives are actually nouns that have the attributive particle n to make them adjectival. In all stages of Egyptian, this morpheme is also used to express the genitive, for example, the Boharic word for Egyptian, remank e mi, is a combination of the nominal prefix rem the reduced form of, romi man, followed by the genitive morpheme n of, and finally the word for Egypt, kemi. Topic. Verbs Topic. Verbal grade system Coptic, like ancient Egyptian and Semitic languages, has root and pattern or templatic morphology, and the basic meaning of a verb is contained in a root and various derived forms of root are obtained by varying the vowel pattern. For example, the root for build is kt. It has four derived forms, kate the absolute state grade, ket the nominal state grade, kot equals the pronominal state grade, and kate the state of grade. The nominal state grade is also called the construct state in some grammars of Coptic. The absolute, nominal, and pronominal state grades are used in different syntactic contexts. The absolute state grade of a transitive verb is used before a direct object with the accusative preposition n, m, and the nominal state grade is used before a direct object with no case marking. The pronominal state grade is used before a pronominal direct object enclitic. 
In addition, many verbs also have a neutral state grade, used to express a state resulting from the action of the verb. Compare the following forms, absolute state grade, nominal state grade, pronominal state grade. For most transitive verbs, both absolute and nominal state grade verbs are available for non-pronominal objects. However, there is one important restriction, known as Jernstitt's rule or the Stern-Jernstedt rule Jernstedt 1927, present tense sentences cannot be used in the nominal state grade. Thus sentences in the present tense always show a pattern like the first example above absolute state, never the second pattern nominal state. In general, the four grades of Coptic verb are not predictable from the root, and are listed in the lexicon for each verb. The following chart shows some typical patterns of correspondence. It is hazardous to make firm generalizations about the relationships between these grade forms, but the nominal state is usually shorter than the corresponding absolute and neutral forms. Absolute and neutral state forms are usually bisyllabic or contain a long vowel, the corresponding nominal state forms are monosyllabic or have short vowels. Topic. Tense, aspect, mood inflection Coptic has a very large number of distinct tense, aspect, mood categories, expressed by particles which are either before the verb or before the subject. The future I, na, is a preverbal particle and follows the subject. In contrast, the perfective, a, is a pre-subject particle. There is some variation in the labels for the tense, aspect, mood categories. The chart below shows the labels from Reinges 2004, Lambden 1983, Plumley 1948, where they agree, only one label is shown. Each form lists the morphology found with a nonpronominal subject and a third person singular masculine pronominal subject he. An approximate range of use for most of the tense, aspect, mood categories is shown in the following table. Topic. Second tenses An unusual feature of Coptic is the extensive use of a set of second tenses which are required in certain syntactic contexts. Second tenses are also called relative tenses in some work. Topic. Prepositions Coptic has prepositions, rather than postpositions. Pronominal objects of prepositions are indicated with enclitic pronouns arrow equals k to you m dot s g Na equals n for use many prepositions have different forms before the enclitic pronouns. Compare ept oi to the ship arrow equals f to him. Topic. Syntax. Topic. Sentential syntax. Coptic typically shows subject verb object SVO word order as in the following examples The verbs in these sentences are in the absolute state grade which requires that its direct object be introduced with the preposition n m This preposition functions like accusative case There is also an alternative nominal state grade of the verb in which the direct object of the verb follows with no preposition topic Dialects There is little written evidence of dialectal differences in the pre-Coptic phases of the Egyptian language due to the centralized nature of the political and cultural institutions of ancient Egyptian society. However, literary Old and Middle classical Egyptian represent the spoken dialect of Lower Egypt around the city of Memphis, the capital of Egypt in the Old Kingdom. Later Egyptian is more representative of the dialects spoken in Upper Egypt, especially around the area of Thebes as it became the cultural and religious center of the New Kingdom. Coptic more obviously displays a number of regional dialects that were in use from the coast of the Mediterranean Sea in northern Egypt, south into Nubia, and in the western oases. However, while many of these dialects reflect actual regional linguistic namely phonological and some lexical variation, they mostly reflect localized orthographic traditions with very little grammatical differences. Topic. Upper Egypt Topic. Sahidic 
Sahidic also known as the Baic, is the dialect in which most known Coptic texts are written, and was the leading dialect in the pre-Islamic period. It is thought to have originally been a regional dialect from the area around Hermopolis Coptic, Shmunin. Around 300 it began to be written in literary form, including translations of major portions of the Bible see Coptic versions of the Bible. By the 6th century, a standardized spelling had been attained throughout Egypt. Almost all native authors wrote in this dialect of Coptic. Sahidic was, beginning in the 9th century, challenged by Boharic, but is attested as late as the 14th. While texts in other Coptic dialects are primarily translations of Greek literary and religious texts, Sahidic is the only dialect with a considerable body of original literature and non-literary texts. Because Sahidic shares most of its features with other dialects of Coptic with few peculiarities specific to itself, and has an extensive corpus of known texts, it is generally the dialect studied by learners of Coptic, particularly by scholars outside of the Coptic Church. Akhmimic Akhmimic was the dialect of the area around the town of Akhmim Greek Panopolis. It flourished during the 4th and 5th centuries, after which no writings are attested. Akhmimic is phonologically the most archaic of the Coptic dialects. One characteristic feature is the retention of the phoneme, x, which is realized as, in most other dialects. Similarly, it uses an exceptionally conservative writing system strikingly similar to Old Coptic. Lycopolitan Lycopolitan also known as Subakmimic and Asiutic is a dialect closely related to Akhmimic in terms of when and where it was attested, but manuscripts written in Lycopolitan tend to be from the area of Asayat. The main differences between the two dialects seem to be graphic in nature. The Lycopolitan variety was used extensively for translations of Gnostic and Manichaean works, including the texts of the Nag Hammadi Library. <laughs> Lower Egypt. Topic. Boharic The Boharic also known as Memphitic dialect originated in the western Nile Delta. The earliest Boharic manuscripts date to the 4th century, but most texts come from the 9th century and later, this may be due to poor preservation conditions for texts in the humid regions of northern Egypt. It shows several conservative features in lexicon and phonology not found in other dialects. Boharic is the dialect used today as the liturgical language of the Coptic Orthodox Church, replacing Sahidic some time in the 11th century. In contemporary liturgical use, there are two traditions of pronunciation, arising from successive reforms in the 19th and 20th centuries see Coptic pronunciation reform. Modern revitalization efforts are based on this dialect. <laughs> Fayumic, also written as Fayumic, in older works it is often called Bashmuric, was spoken primarily in the Fayum west of the Nile Valley. It is attested from the 3rd to the 10th centuries. It is most notable for writing, which corresponds to L, where other dialects generally use R, probably corresponding to a flap. In earlier stages of Egyptian, the liquids were not distinguished in writing until the New Kingdom, when Late Egyptian became the administrative language. Late Egyptian orthography utilized a grapheme that combined the graphemes for r and n in order to express l. Demotic for its part indicated l, using a diacritic variety of r. Topic Oxyrinkite Oxyrinkite also known as Mesochemic or confusingly Middle Egyptian is the dialect of Oxyrinkus and surrounding areas. It shows similarities with Fayumich and is attested in manuscripts from the 4th and 5th centuries. Topic see also British Library Coptic Language Collection Coptic Alphabet Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria Egyptian Language Egyptian Arabic Nag Hammadi Library List of Coptic Place Names Topic References Topic Further reading Topic General Studies Abel, Carl On the Coptic Language. Transactions of the Philological Society 5. Emil, Stephen, 1992. Languages Coptic. In the Anchor Bible Dictionary, edited by David Noel Friedman. Volume 4 of 6 vols. New York, Doubleday, 180-188. Guessman, A. M. The Birth of the Coptic Script. University of South Florida Language Quarterly 14. 2-3, Gignac, Francis Thomas, 1991. 
Old Coptic. In the Coptic Encyclopedia, edited by Aziz Surreal Atia. Volume 8 of 8 vols. New York and Toronto, Macmillan Publishing Company and Collier Macmillan Canada, 169-188. Kasser, Radolf, 1991. Dialects. In the Coptic Encyclopedia, edited by Aziz Surreal Atia. Volume 8 of 8 vols. New York and Toronto, Macmillan Publishing Company and Collier Macmillan Canada, 87-96. Wolfgang Kossack. Lehrbuch des Koptischen, Thiel I, Koptische Grammatik, Thiel II, Koptische Lesestuck, Graz 1974. Loprino, Antonio, 1995. Ancient Egyptian, A Linguistic Introduction. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Polotsky, Hans Jakob, 1971. Coptic. In Afroasiatic, a survey, edited by Carlton Taylor Hodge, Jana Linguarum, Series Practica, 163, S. Gravenhage and Paris, Mouton, 67-79. Topic Grammars and Grammatical Studies Chain, Marius, 1933. Elements de grammaire dialectale copte, Boherique, Sahidic, Akmimique, Fayumique. Paris, Paul Guthner. Eberly, Andrea, and Regine Schultz. 2004. Koptisch, ein Leitfaden durch das Sadisch. Lincom Languages of the World, Materials 07. Munich, Lincom Europa. Jernstedt, Peter V. 1927. Das Koptische Prassens und die Anknufungsarten des Naheren Objects. Comptes Rendus de l'Academische des Sciences de l'Union Republique Soviétique Socialistes, 2, 69-74. Lambden, Thomas Oden Introduction to Sahidic Coptic. Macon, Mercer University Press. Leighton, Bentley, 2000. A Coptic Grammar Sahidic Dialect, with a Christomathy and Glossary, Porta Linguarum Orientalium, N.S., 20. Wiesbaden, Harrisovitz. Leighton, Bentley. 2007. Coptic in 20 Lessons, Introduction to Sahidic Coptic with Exercises and Vocabularies. Peters Publishers, ISBN 90-429-1810-1. Malin, Alexis, 1956. Grammaire Copt, Bibliography, Crestomathy et Vocabulaire. Fourth edition. Beruth. Mutter, Nabil, 1990. A Study in Boharic Coptic. Pasadena, Hope Publishing House. Plumley, John Martin, 1948. Introductory Coptic Grammar. London, Home and Van Thal. Polotsky, Hans Jakob, 1987. Grundlagen des Koptischen Satzbaus. American Studies in Papyrology 28. Decatur, Georgia, Scholars Press. Reinges, Chris H. 2004. Coptic Egyptian Sahidic Dialect, A Learner's Grammar. Cologne, Rudiger Kopp Verlag. ISBN 978-3-89645-570-3. Reinges, Chris H. 2010. Coordination, Converbs, and Clause Chaining in Coptic Egyptian Typology. In Brill, Isabel. Clause Linking and Clause Hierarchy. Studies in Language Companion Series, 128. Amsterdam, John Benjamins. ISBN 978-90-272-0588-9. Shisha Halevi, Ariel, 1988. Coptic Grammatical Christomathy, A Course for Academic and Private Study. Orientalia Levaniencia Analecta 30. Leuven, Peters. Shisha Halevi, Ariel, 1986. Coptic Grammatical Categories, Structural Studies in the Syntax of Shenutian Sahidic. Analecta Orientalia 53. Roma, Pontificium Institutum Biblicum. ISBN 88-7653-255-2. Shisha Halevi, Ariel, 2007. Topics in Coptic Syntax, Structural Studies in the Boharic Dialect. Orientalia Levaniencia Analecta 160. Leuven, Paris, Dudley, M. A., Peters. ISBN 978-90-429-1875-7. Tatum, Henry, A Compendious Grammar of the Egyptian Language as Contained in the Coptic, Sahidic, and Bashmuric Dialects London 1863, Till, Walter C. 1994. Coptiche Dialect Grammatic. Berlin, Walter de Gruyter. Vergote, Josef, 1973-1983. Grammaire Copt. Leuven, Peters. Yunnan, Samay, 2005. So, you want to learn Coptic? A Guide to Boharic Grammar. Sydney, St. Mary, St. Bacomius and St. Shinoda Coptic Orthodox Church. Topic Dictionaries Cerny, Yaroslav, 1976. Coptic Etymological Dictionary. 
Cambridge and New York, Cambridge University Press. Crum, Walter Ewing, 1939. A Coptic Dictionary. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Reprinted by Sandpiper Books Limited, London and Powell's Books, Chicago, 2000. Wolfgang Kossack, Koptisches Handlexikon des Boherischen. Koptisch, Deutsch, Arabisch. Verlag Christoph Brunner, Basel 2013, ISBN 978-3-9524018-9-7. Bicycle, Werner, 1983. Dictionnaire Etymologique de la Longue Copte. Leuven, Editions Peters. Westendorf, Wolfhart, 1965-1977. Koptisches Handwerterbuch. Heidelberg, Karl Winter. Topic Phonology de Pite, Leo, 1993. On Coptic Sounds, Orientalia 62, New Series, 338-75. Greenberg, Joseph H. Originally published 1962. The Interpretation of the Coptic Vowel System. On Language, Selected Writings of Joseph H. Greenberg, eds. K. Denning and S. Kemmer. Stanford, Stanford University Press, 1990-428-38. Grossman, Eaton and Martin Haspelmuth, 2015. The Leipzig-Jerusalem Transliteration of Coptic, Egyptian Coptic Linguistics in Typological Perspective, eds. Eaton Grossman, Martin Haspelmuth and Tonio Sebastian Richter. Berlin, Munich, Boston, Walter de Gruyter, 145-56. Loprino, Antonio, 1997. Egyptian and Coptic Phonology. Phonologies of Asia and Africa Including the Caucasus, Volume 1, ed. Alan S. K. Winona Lake, Eisenbrowns, 431 to 60. Pust, Karsten, 1999. Egyptian Phonology: An Introduction to the Phonology of a Dead Language. Monographien zur Egyptischen Sprache, 2. Göttingen, Pust and Gutschmidt. Topic Bibliographies Kammerer, Winifred Compiler, A Coptic Bibliography, Ann Arbor, University of Michigan Press, 1950, Reprint New York, Krauss Reprint Co., 1969 Wolfgang Kossack, Der Koptische Heiligenkalender. Deutsch, Koptisch, Arabisch nach den besten Quellen neu berbete und vollständig herausgegeben mit Index Sanctorum Koptischer Heiliger, Index der Namen auf Koptisch, Koptisch Patriarchenlist, Geographische Liste. Christoph Brunner, Berlin 2012, ISBN 978-3-9524018-4-2. Wolfgang Kossack, Schenut von a Tripe de Judicio Finale. Papyruscodex 63000, IV im Museo Agizio di Torino. Einleitung, Textbearbeitung und Übersetzung herausgegeben von Wolfgang Kossack. Christoph Brunner, Berlin 2013, ISBN 978-3-9524018-5-9. Wolfgang Kossack, Basilios de Archangelo Michael, Sahidus Pseudo, Euhodios de Resurrection, Sahidus Pseudo, Euhodios de Dormition Mariae Virginis, Sahidus and Boharis, Nest Varianten und Fragmente. In Parallelsilen Ediart, Kommentiert und Übersetzt von Wolfgang Kossack. Christoph Brunner, Berlin 2014. ISBN 978 3 906206 2 8 Wolfgang Kossack, Novum Testamentum Coptus. Neues Testament, Boharisch, Ediart von Wolfgang Kossack. Novum Testamentum, Boharis, Kurovit Wolfgang Kossack, Wolfgang Kossack, Nui Osgabe, Christoph Brunner, Basel 2014. ISBN 978 3 906206 04 2. Topic external links by Alan Susha, a blog on Coptic literature and manuscripts, France Copt.net by Mikhail David, French Coptic site. Coptic Sounds, a resource for the study of Coptic phonology, Coptic language internet links and bibliography Coptica.ch online library of Coptic texts at University of Geneva site text in French New Athena Unicode font, includes the new Coptic range online Coptic tutorial a comprehensive Coptic language resource Remenkimi Coptic block in the Unicode 4.1 standard Heike Belmer, selected bibliography on the Coptic language Coptic texts and manuscripts at Leiden University Library IFAO N Copt, a professional Coptic font for researchers, a set of Coptic fonts new free font, free serif face includes a Coptic range.